Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. Speaking of giveaways, there are two going on on the channel currently right now through the end of the month. One of them is just our monthly secret password giveaways. You want to watch all of the videos from the 22nd through the end of the month. You can find details and rules in the Google form link that I'll leave for you in the description box below. I was also part of a March collaboration with nine other channels. You have to watch all of the videos in that case that were included in that collaboration. There's actually 11 videos. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box below for you too if you want to enter that. In that one, you can actually enter to be one of the two winners where you get to select one of the 11 boxes that we opened during that collaboration. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am excited because I have a new travel themed subscription to share with you that has been put out by Novica. It is called their Undiscovered Box and you guys look how gorgeous this box is. So since it's new to the channel, let me go ahead and just read a little description for you. It says, explore a world of unique artisan boxes where customization rules, we love customization, and the choice is always yours. With every quarterly box, you'll discover the culture and traditions of a new region as you fill your box with handcrafted artisan products. Each customized box will include five exceptional fair trade treasures valued at over $200 for just $59.99 per quarter. I believe the shipping is $3.99. Now I have reached out to them several times to see if I could get a box sent to me for review or get a discount code for you. I do have an affiliate link, but I have not heard back from their marketing team, so fingers crossed. Maybe we hear back from them very, very soon. I thought this box was just such a great idea. I love the idea of customization. If you want to leave it up to them, they can absolutely put your box together. So I went on to the website. It, they basically had three different categories. There was kind of the hero category where you had you got to choose one of four items. And then there were two categories where there were seven or eight choices and you got to pick two items in each of those categories. Now I will say in one of the categories, one of the items that I would have normally selected was already sold out, but there are still tons of options. And then at the end of that survey or selection process, they did say you can say if you prefer to have more uh, men's, women's, or home goods in your future boxes. So I think they're just doing a little preliminary research. So let me just read to you a little bit about this box and why it has this gorgeous textile ribbon on it. So it says, dedicated to the art of travel, our spring box celebrates Pura Vida, the way of life in Costa Rica, tropical sunsets, cloud forests, volcanoes, biodiverse ecosystems, and the art and crafts of the indigenous people described this corner of paradise. I have had the pleasure of visiting Costa Rica. It is a gorgeous country. It says here you'll meet Marcos Rojas, a member of the Boruca tribe and your artisan guide for undiscovered Costa Rica. It says a last minute night out, an unexpected excursion, and an invitation to a family gathering. All those experiences that can't be captured in a guidebook are yours for the taking. It's what undiscovered is all about. Now, I don't know if they actually have a guidebook in this box or if it's all virtual or if they do like a virtual tour. I haven't like looked around too much. I wanted to have the box in my hands first says built on choice your choice our boxes are designed to be the best of the best want to fully customize your box go ahead prefer to leave it to us consider it done it says your spring artisan box will include five fair trade handcrafted products lovingly packed inside our custom gift wrapped box so this did come in an outer box which was very snugly fit inside it says additionally once you subscribe to the box you'll have access to our exclusive add-on market featuring over 100 artisan products at special members only prices of 20 to 50 percent off I did not take advantage of that. I just wanted to see what the box itself was like. And then it does say that there are going to be thoughtful extras from your artisan guide, including bonus items, recipes, plus tips and suggestions for travelers. Now tucked inside of that little ribbon, there was uh, this little uh, envelope. So I went ahead and pulled that out ahead of time. And it basically just has a little invoice telling me what items I selected, which is good because I kind of didn't remember. So again, I'm not totally sure if there's going to be a product card inside, but we'll just have to get into it and take a look. So again, so pretty. It just has that little... Um, 
metal there that says Novica on it. And of course they have such lovely products. So if you are looking for some handcrafted artisan products as well as that element of travel. Now I will say it was kind of interesting because when I was making my selection, so I don't know what I'll do with this textile little ribbon, but I'll, I'll figure out something. Maybe it could go on a bag or become a bag strap or something. Um, I was noticing that some of the items were actually from Guatemala, which I definitely think is a different country. Of course they like have some similarities, but I was interested to see that some of the items are actually coming from Guatemala, even though the theme of the box is Costa Rica. So it's very nicely wrapped. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. It's like they actually like glued the wrapping paper though to the box. So let me see if I can slide it out. So what's nice is it's kind of got like a sleeve to it. So I'm going to just pull the box out the, on the bottom of the box. So here we go. So in that way I was able to like pretty much preserve the, the packaging. And then here is the box, just the bottom. So it did have a sleeve that goes all the way around. It just says Novica Undiscovered Artisan Box. So I'm gonna open up this tissue paper. Now I don't automatically see any sort of product card or guide. So I did take some notes. I kind of printed out a couple of things just to tell you a little bit more about some of the options that were available. Um, so let's see if I can find it. Um, so my first, my my option for um, choice one, which again, I think was kind of like the hero item, probably a higher priced valued item. They had a Costa Rican balsa wood ceremonial jaguar mask, which was beautiful. I just didn't know where I would put that in my house. They had a beaded bracelet and agate jasper and, tur and, agate, jasper and turquoise. And they also had some hand woven Guatemalan cotton placemats and napkins. They had a set of four, which I thought was really nice that you got a set of four uh, play placemats and napkins and they were in a very beautiful color. I went ahead and went with the jewelry of course because you guys know that's something I love to collect when I'm traveling anyway I'm guessing it came in this really pretty woven bag I'm just loving the colors of that so hopefully I selected right and I'm not about to show you something else but Yes, so these are the 14 karat gold filled and sterling silver Chalcedony earrings from Isla, Isla del Coco. It says the gleam of gold pairs beautifully with sterling silver and cool faceted aqua Chalcedony. I don't know how to pronounce the name of that stone. And these delightful earrings from Miriam Bruten in Costa Rica. It says the earrings swing merrily on 14 karat gold filled posts, nine, uh, 925 sterling silver, 14 karat gold filled, 925 sterling silver. And so, and then of course it has the, uh, nice lovely uh, post so it's kind of a mixed metal so we have the silver as well as that gold post and then it has this really pretty almost teardrop shaped stone there at the bottom I just thought the color of that was lovely you guys know that I like an earring that has a little bit of movement so it does have that post uh, in terms of going through your ear instead of like a j-hook which I definitely like so they're not super duper long um, they each came in their own little bag so they didn't scratch each other up in the plastic which I appreciate and then it does have this nice little um, authenticity uh, little card that was inside of there as well it says by Miriam Bruten it says the quality is indisputable if you acquire one of my jewels you will have it for a lifetime so love that that's kind of nice so I thought that was a good good option then we'll get into one of the other categories and I'll just list all of the things that were options you could have gotten food safe wood salad servers a hand loomed blue cotton scarf which I was tempted by it was really beautiful a signed sloth themed paper journal from Costa Rica and I love sloths I just didn't need any more journals a multi-colored beaded strand necklace a brown macrame bracelet with a light green jade stone I did think that was pretty but you guys know I don't wear a ton of bracelets a swirl pattern Hobio wood pendant necklace from Costa Rica, a handwoven blue and turquoise cotton cosmetic case, or a bifold wallet in brown and leather cotton that was from Guatemala. And I actually li really liked that wallet. I thought it was a great option. It was a little bit more masculine, but I already have a wallet and it's more of a checkbook size, but that was one uh, item that I almost selected. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ones that I did select. So I went ahead with the Food Safe Wood Salad ser Servers. So this is by At The Table. And again, it's nice they have the little card that tells us a little bit more probably about the company. It says, crafted from sustainable Hobio wood, this handsome pair of salad servers makes an attractive addition to the table. Of course, I always love natural wood grain. I think it's so pretty. The Petten Wood Artisan Sculptors in Guatemala create the serving fork and spoon, giving them a food safe finish of vegetable oil. They make a lovely 
lovely housewarming or hostess gift um, and so again they just tell us the material so very nice feel to them you can definitely see they're like kind of hand carved nice shape they kind of sit in one another they are the same size but I just thought those were really pretty like I have a ton of salad tongs but I did think this might be a good future gift to give to someone I love that they finished it with um, just vegetable oil so um, when you wash and dry these sometimes they lose some of that luster and so it's nice to just oil them up a little bit so then they have our little story about these artisans it says by pet wood artisan sculptors many of us live in communities where there's no electricity so all the tools we use are manual a spoon can take up to a full day to finish and it's so lovely so I'm not like familiar with this particular wood and then on the other side of that page it just said the same description that I read to you so I thought these were a really beautiful choice then the other item I believe that I chose is this hand-woven blue and turquoise cotton cosmetic case. And this was, I chose partially because the other one, the other bag that was an option in another category was already sold out. But of course, I love these woven textiles and I just thought these colors were stunning. So it says, woven by hand on a traditional loom, this colorful cosmetic bag is ready to go when you are. Miriam Otzin so showcases her Maya weaving legacy with ornate geometric motifs in turquoise, cornflower blue, and lime green on ivory. The cotton makeup case has a plastic lining that makes it easy to keep clean. Oh, I do. I kind of like that. So mostly cotton. And then we have our nice plastic lining. Love the little shiny tassel, of course, which you could remove if you wanted to. And then, of course, it has our little story inside. So it does have the Novica label there. But you guys, this actually makes it a good makeup case. So often we get cute little cases and people say, oh, you could use it for your makeup. But then it's not easy to clean if there is any spillage. I love this because you can just take a damp cloth and clean it right out. So um. Um, I really actually think that's very cute and it does have a wristlet if you wanted to use it as a wristlet as a little purse um, as well so I thought that was actually really nice so it was fun so it says this is by Miriam Otsin so we had Miriam and this is Miriam it says I love this art because it represents my past and my present through our weaving we communicate our cultural values I love these little quotes from the artisans that is so cool so you have to hold on to all of those then we finally have our third category where again there was about seven or eight choices and you got to select two so let me just tell you all the options there were green flower and clear resin button earrings from Costa Rica so they were little studs but they were very pretty artisan crafted cotton scrunchies a set of three of those a sloth themed teak wood bookmark from Costa Rica so if you love sloths you know that there's a lot of them in Costa Rica so you might be getting a very sloth themed box it says a Costa Rican hand-painted tiny floral ceramic gecko figurine uh, 12 Guatemala handcrafted cotton worry doll figurines. I used to collect those when I was a little kid. An aqua macrame wristband bracelet, a set of three. Those were kind of like the friendship bracelets, like the woven ones that I think a lot of us made when we were kids. A striped cotton cosmetic bag handmade in Guatemala. I loved that one, but it was sold out already. Pretty much everything else I think is still available. Or two hand woven Guatemalan white and green cotton dish towels, which were lovely. I almost selected that. That was another one that I was tempted by. You'll probably be surprised surprised to find out that I actually went with the scrunchies. Now, I don't use a lot of scrunchies. I use a few of them, but I just thought that these were great gifts, almost like you could use them as well in your gift wrapping and make this the bow on top of a nice like brown paper package. But I love these textiles. I just think the rich jewel tones are so pretty um, and they seemed like they were well made. So it says the Lopez Garcia family wanted to capture the traditional colors and patterns of Guatemala with this set of three scrunchies. The pretty hair accessories are made from 100% cotton fabric with colorful plaid and ecot patterns. The artisans use recycled fa fabric remnants, so please expect some variation in patterns and colors. So of course they just have the elastic inside. I'm not seeing a card to go with them. Maybe this is it. So let me see. It is. So again, it's by the Lo Lopez Garcia family. We got our little story. The Mayan princess Ixmukane um, received a gift from the sun god, making her able to solve any person's problem. Later, people began creating dolls with whom they'd share their problems. So I'm guessing that's about the worry dolls, and I think that's one of the little extras that they threw into our box. But it is by the same family that made um, these scrunchies. So 
And that's kind of cool. So let me, while I have that out, there is a little extra little worry doll. She's very, very cute. This is actually a little bit bigger than the worry dolls that I am used to. So again, you could have gotten a set of 12 of those, but it's very sweet. It says, ever lost sleep over a worry or sorrow? You may want to try telling the worry doll about it. Known as Muñeca Quita Peñas. It says, this little cloth doll has been around since the life of the Maya. All you need to do is tell it what's worrying you, then place the worry doll under your pillow. According to ancient Maya, Maya tradition the doll will deal with your worries and let you have a good night's sleep why not try it I definitely have those things usually it's like a matter of me making a list of the things that I need to accomplish the next day but maybe a worry doll is the trick so we've got that now my final item that I selected is in probably another surprise you guys I went with this little ceramic gecko figurine I just kind of love this style of painting and I thought it was adorable and also very small I love how his head is like kind of cocked to the side so this is from the tiny singing gecko it says a petite gecko chirps cheerfully in his tropical home Deco geckos are a common sight in costa rica where they are often welcome for controlling insects in fact in some homes they're given a nickname lydia and joaquin depict the bright-eyed creature in sleek black ceramic beautifully painted by hand with floral mo motifs and it says this little guy is about two and a half inches so he's just so cute i just think he's adorable i have so many little things like this on my bookshelves i probably didn't need another one but i love geckos because i grew up with geckos in Hawaii as well so I just thought it was a really cute one to have now I guess everything else in the box must be some of those artisan extras we did get something else that was kind of wrapped up now if you guys haven't joined our little Nobot Nook our little Facebook group that we have uh, you could definitely check it out I know someone else has already received this box for this season and she posted some pictures I actually had her like wait because I wanted you guys to see the box here and then once you get a box or if you've already seen it on my channel I'm happy to have you guys share your your discoveries <laughs> your undiscovered boxes over there so this is from Lydia and Joaquin, our little story book. So it says, working together has helped strengthen our relationship. Every day brings a new challenge, but together I know that nothing is impossible. It's just so cute to me. They took the time to like glue these little things together and I'm guessing it probably also created some jobs for some of the artisans. So and a little extra that we got is this tote bag here. So it says essential Costa Rica, just a simple kind of linen tote bag, pretty good size, just the flat kind. But I do like that it's very, um, simple in terms of the branding. It doesn't necessarily say uh, Novica on it, but those are always great to take with you when you are traveling. So it looks like we do actually have some paperwork is what I like to call it in the very bottom. This is a gorgeous postcard. Oh my gosh, you guys, tell, look how cool this is. So it's from Essential Costa Rica, which must be the name of the uh, tour company, I'm guessing, that our guide works for. And it actually has a handwritten note on the back. It says, y gracias por apreciar nuestra cultura abrazos marcos you guys i don't speak spanish so um i should considering where i live but i just adore the fact that they have a handwritten note on this beautiful postcard from our guide and then here is the journey has just begun this was at the very bottom of the package it's even tied with a little string so wow this is so cool this box feels so special and while i might maybe don't necessarily see that it's a 200 dollars value it is definitely well worth that 60 dollars plus a little bit of shipping in my personal opinion as well as having this whole experience so it's this gorgeous fold out brochure so it says uh, Marcos Rojas your artisan guide Marcos Rojas is a living treasure a highly skilled artisan dedicated to preserving his Baruca culture by teaching the ancestral art of mask making to the next generation his work has been exhibited in Central America Europe and the US Marco is an emerging Novica master artisan and your guide to undiscovered Costa Rica so then it's got a little interview with him where he answers describe Costa Rica in three words uh, legends are part of Baruca culture what is your favorite and why uh, you were 10 years old when you began to learn the art of mask making. What is your favorite memory of that time? What else did you learn from Ismael? So that must have been someone who taught him. It says, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? He says, Machu Picchu. Uh, some of your work has a vibrant contemporary graffiti street style. Do you listen to music while you work? And then finally, the question is, food is often the best part of travel. Will you share a favorite recipe with us? That's kind of cool. And then of course, on the back, we have a recipe, which wow, that sounds delicious. Costa Rican black bean soup serves eight. So we have this nice uh, recipe here on the back 
Wow, I think that sounds so cool. And this looks like one of those uh, bridges up in the cloud forest. So what a great little box. I wish I had had this to begin with, but I think it's kind of an incentive for you guys to get it on the box yourself to find out some of his answers to those questions. But I definitely love that element of it. For me, this was a great box. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they do for next season. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. And if you would like to continue seeing it here on the channel, whether or not I hear back from Novica, Again, fingers crossed that I do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing, maybe on Instagram, maybe in the Facebook group. You never know. I'll see you soon.